This video was brought to you by Wondershare Filmora. Hey everyone, Anthony here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to achieve some pretty cool Hollywood style effects in Filmora 10. Let's get started. I edited that whole sequence at the beginning using effects that you can either find in Filmora or purchase from their Filmstocks effects store. Now Filmora was kind enough to provide me with a free Filmstock subscription in order to make this video possible, so thank you Filmora. I also used some music and stock footage from an additional website that I do pay for. I just thought that was an important disclaimer to make. That being said, let's jump into the video. The nice thing about the effects in film stocks is that they are specifically designed to work with Filmora, and as a result, they are very easy to use. You literally just click download on the effects that you want, and they show up in Filmora in literally under a minute. As you can see right now, we've got the installer open and it's downloading right there. Then I can just head over to Filmora, click on the elements tab, scroll down, and as you can see, blockbuster lasers right there ready for me to use. Now the sequence that I created may seem pretty simple effects wise because on the surface, it's just a gunshot and a blood burst. But if you keep watching, I can show you a lot of smaller details that make the whole scene even better and look even more like an actual movie. One of the big new features in Filmora X is motion tracking, and I talked about that in my first impressions and review video, link down below, and I was very excited to try it out and specifically apply it to special effects like the ones that you saw. You blinked! Right, well, just You're dead! <laughs> <laughs> now, without motion tracking, most of these effects would be limited to use on a static camera shot, but with motion tracking, the effects can now move along either with the camera or with other objects in the frame. The first example here would be Francesca's Nerf gun. To access the motion tracking feature, I just double click on the clip and go right here to the video menu. If you go down a little bit, you can see there is a motion tracking drop down menu. Just hit the check mark and this little box will pop up on screen. I want to track the barrel of the gun as it moves up and down and then apply the muzzle flash effect that you see here. I can click this box and just drag it around the gun like so, and then I click start tracking. Now, because Francesca's gun moves pretty fast, you can see that the motion tracking can't quite keep up with it the entire way. Fortunately, situations like this are pretty easy to fix. You just move ahead to a frame where it's starting to slip off, and then you manually readjust it. And now, as you can see, the front of the gun is motion tracked up and down. Of course, the motion tracking is still going to lose the gun once it exits the frame, but that doesn't really matter here because the muzzle flash is so quick. From here, I can just drag the gunshot effect over my footage. I can make sure that everything is timed and positioned just right. Then I just double click on the clip, go back to the motion tracking menu, and then you can see the gunshot effect listed right here. I'm just gonna select it, hit okay. And then as you can see, the muzzle flash moves up and down with the gun for about a frame or two. Okay, so now let's move on to the blood effect. I applied the same idea with the motion tracking and I tracked the movement of my head as it jerks to the side and I fall down dead. But I also did a couple of other things here to make it even more realistic. For one thing, the default blood bursts are shown in slow motion, as you can see here. But obviously what we filmed is not in slow motion. You're dead, haha. <laughs> so what I did was I actually sped up the blood burst by three times. If you right click on the blood burst, you can find the settings for all of that right here. So as you can see, I have it sped up to 3x. Now the original blood burst effect is actually a little too bright for the footage that we shot. So I was able to fix that by going to the advanced color correction panel and lowering the brightness to about negative 60%. And as you can see, once the blood is darkened, it fits in a lot better with the overall lighting of the scene. So now the special effects are in place, but there are still a couple of things left to do. The first one is to apply a LUT, which is basically just a cinematic color grade, and Filmora has a nice selection to choose from. If I click on a clip, I can go over to the color panel and I can click this drop down menu right here that says 3D LUT. This is what the footage looks like without the LUT. Not bad, but still a little plain. So if I just cycle through the 3D LUT drop down menu, you can see that there are a lot of different looks based on different movies. In this particular case, I decided that the 007 LUT looked the best. It's also important to apply the same LUT to the special effects effects, and that helps them to blend into the shot 
shot and hopefully stand out a little less. For comparison, here is the muzzle flash with the LUT turned on, and then here it is turned off. This next step is purely optional, but you can apply a cinematic 21 by 9 aspect ratio to your footage. Uh, in other words, just these black bars on the top and bottom. It looks fine either way, in my opinion. If you go to the effects panel and search cinematic, you can see that I've got the cinema 21 by 9 black bars right there. Uh, just drag it into the timeline above your footage and stretch it out. Uh, simple as that. Now, something else that I'd like to say is that Francesca and I filmed this entire sequence with a 35mm prime lens set to an f1.8 aperture, uh, which creates that blurry background and completes the cinematic look. Uh, the camera doesn't really matter in this case, I'm just using a mid-tier Nikon, so not that special at all. Uh, what really matters is that you buy the right lens for the look that you want. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like, and also check out this playlist of other Filmora tutorials that I have on my channel. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Subscribe. <laughs>